welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome to the praise Ghanese youtube channel and if you're a family member mm -hmm, welcome back again if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe you know if you yeah, if you're not convinced yet that we're to the end of this video but please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to all so you can get notifications when any of my video drops and please if you are already family member but you've not turned on your notification bell please do it so that um you get notified immediately i drop a video ah guys guess what we are going to be doing today oh my god it's been a long time um you know you're seeing me on your screen but i'm glad to be back and guess what if you're on my list that is my, my contact list please if you want to be on my contact list so i can get, be getting direct broadcast messages from me please um you can message me on whatsapp 0801696961163 to be on the screen for you so please drop me a message and this is your name so, so, so i can save it and also add you too the broadcast list so if you're my broadcast list i share the link to a movie that i'm like guys i love you guys so much and when a good thing happened to me i always want you guys to be part of it i watched a movie and it changed my life god spoke to me through that movie it's a christian movie <laughs> but ha huh, i mean i'm i was like any serious person on my own serious person on my list to watch the movie that is going to bless them is going to you know, speak to them in different ways and then someone corrected me and said why did i say a serious believer that any other person can watch that movie and that's true so if you're a believer, a serious believer, you're not even, you're, you don't, you're not even, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not a believer. You need to watch that movie because it's really going to bless you. It's going to really change your life. And, you know, so I recommended it for everybody to watch on my list. And trust me, amazing testimonies, amazing reviews. I think I'm going to, I don't know how possible that is. I think I should play people's review on it. That, oh my God, it's, it's a blessing. Thank you for recommending this movie. And you know what? The songs, this is not your, your, your normal christian movie whereby they wear it's natural hair they wear long skirts they don't you do makeup it's very boring you know god is doing something great in the movie industry that is you know movies that will actually draw believers and it's really going to bless them movies that you watch you blast in tongues movie that you watch you have diverse encounters through that movie movie that you watch that god speaks to you through that movie so it's and you know why i like this particular movie ah i'm not even said the movie i'm talking about <laughs> it's patrick syndrome by sheyi obembe if i'm correct and trust me someone recommended the movie to me and the person was like oh praise you need to watch this movie i'm like ah she this guy knows my spec bye which one is this um, patrick syndrome and all of that so i was just less busy with today and i have so much youtube free youtube data and i was like let me watch this movie that this girl said i should watch welcome back to my channel so let's get right into it what i'm doing is i'm going to be giving you lessons that i learned from the patrick syndrome movie so the first one is the importance and essence of praying everywhere you know the bible says pray without season and you know there are people that think okay when once i'm done with my quiet time the two hours or the one hour i give to god every morning then i'm good to go meanwhile we have to pray everywhere we have to pray in the toilet we have to pray in the bedroom we have to pray on the road we have to pray you know that's why prayer works are even you know getting very um, I don't know popular now this because people pray on the road just to give everybody that avenue and to give that everybody that understanding that you can pray everywhere. It's not until you sit down and be still in a place and you know pray for hours that you know we have to be in the spirit and we have to always you know um, pay, bring God into whatever we are doing. So if you, as you can see, as you as you all can see in the movie, Patrick, you know prays like almost everywhere and the one they showed us was he, he prays at his workplace, you know. And you might not even know what you are doing. You might not even know the that I said the importance. You might not know the person you are saving by praying everywhere. You can even be praying on your road, and there's someone that wants to cross that road, and maybe moto can jam that person, and it's a prayer that will save that person. Just look at Patrick. He was praying in the office, and meanwhile, the person subordinate was trying to you know kill the boss in that same office, and it was the prayer of Patrick that you know did so many things that saved the boss and you know that dismantled or made powerless the champ the other person was trying to use on the boss now just imagine even it was shown in the movie that he, he always has he always had um burning sensation on his hands he's always charged i mean he's always charged because he prays everywhere so you might not know who you are saving by praying and mind you like Paul said, I have not attained everything or I'm not perfected. Even me that I'm talking, I'm still talking to myself. That's why I said the lessons I learned from the movie. That is the importance of praying everywhere. The importance of praying on the road. The importance of praying, 
in your bedroom, the importance of praying at work. Do not person you're saving at work. Someone might be having issues at home and you're just praying at work and that person, that issues, one way or the other, is solved. So that was one of the lessons I learned. So let us learn. You know, we've been hearing this, but let's learn to do them. Pray, even if you want to eat. Oh, if you if you are passing on the road, just ah, like um Pastor Wally Oke said, or Reverend Wally Oke said, Shambala there, Shambala here. You don't know the importance of it though. Even if it's just one second, that, hey, it has done something. <laughs> Alright, so let's move to the next lesson. Um, The next lesson here is take the presence of God everywhere. Yeah, that's just praying, you know, praying everywhere and praying without season. The next lesson is don't lower your standards for anybody. Now, you know, whenever the, you know, Patrick was a very... Um, brilliant person and intelligent person and the boss was always like oh my god Patrick that's a beautiful idea oh thank you very much and he always say thank God glory to God thank Jesus and the boss would be like what <laughs> and like thank Jesus and you know at the point the boss now told him that I don't want to hear the name of Jesus again in this company and I don't want to hear the name of whatever in this company but I'm sure Patrick did not stop doing that because we didn't know they didn't show us that he continued praying, but I'm sure they did not stop because that's why even the attempts to kill the boss did not work. So I'm sure they did not stop doing that. So don't know where your standards. People might be saying, oh my God, you are too SU. Oh my God, are you the only one? Are you the only one serving God? Like I remember when I was walking somewhere and someone was like, oh my God, she is here. All this giri giri, this Jesus, Jesus that is doing you, you to soon drop. And so I feel people, you might be, even, it's not even at work, it might be. Even at home, in your house, your daddy and your mommy can be saying, she want to call her long way, you need, eh? But boy, you want to call her way, please don't mind them. Don't lower your standards for anybody. Remember, God is the rewarder of them or those that diligently seek him. There is a reward for that. So if you are, you know, if, if you are the one, if you are the only one, you know, not doing what other people are doing at work, you are the only one that is like, you are looking different, don't try to be among them. Because one way or the other, or... Anytime, any point on in time, one power or one standard we have to, you know, we have to um, bow for the other standard. Look at what happened in the movie. At the end of the day, they all give their life to Christ in church. The, the boss later said, okay, today, anything we do, we'll be praying before we start a meeting. We'll be, you know, the, it's only Jesus that can do anything in the, you know. Just imagine if Patrick had stopped doing what he was doing. Just imagine he was like, and eh, that's true. I know that people that will tell you, please, all the spiritual people, you guys are so spiritual. When you're at work, drop that. Drop spirituality. My dear, life is spiritual. Tell them that life is spiritual. Tell them that even when you're at work, life is spiritual. Work is part of my life and it's spiritual. So don't let them tell you. You should not be thinking, it's true. This is work. Or I should not mix spirituality with work. When, I, when I'm at work, I should deliver. But then I'm not saying, I'm not saying when you're at work too. It's not... You should be praying in tongues, Shambhala, Shambhala. Every time you are not doing what they say you should do, you are not delivering. You already know that I'm not even a fan of that. You should be a believer, and yes, you are delivering even at a work of place. Look at Patrick. Oh, God, this movie is just so a blessing. He was like the best among his colleagues, but he was still spiritual. He was still praying in tongues. So not because you are praying in tongues, you are not delivering at work. But then, don't let them tell you that um, work is different from spiritual life. Don't bring spirituality into work. Please, that is who we are. So don't lower your standards for anybody that telling you you are too spiritual one way or the other at the end of the day they might have to even lower or bend their demands to your own so don't lower your standards for anybody that's the second lesson the first one is the importance and essence of praying everywhere taking the presence of god everywhere then number two is um don't lower your standards for anybody your beliefs don't change them for anybody so the next one is marriage so this is one of the things and one of the lessons i think people really said oh oh, oh, oh mom, look at what he said yeah it's very important of course it's very important but then i'm like why is it that it's only this one that people suffer there are many other lessons but of course we still talk about this so marriage you know the professor was telling patrick that you can find a life partner everywhere but you find your helpmate in the garden of eden that is purpose if you are fulfilling purpose you find your partner while you are fulfilling purpose why you are doing what god wants you to do and, you know that's one important and of course very very key you know you can find your life partner anywhere but it's in the garden of eden that you find your your, your, uh, your life partner and i also learned something about this marriage the will of god is beautiful everybody are telling you you have to manage if, the, if god says oh this is the will of god for you and you're like oh god i just have to manage it uh this is not what i like the will of god will be beautiful and will be handsome look at the lady in the movie look at the person 
Patrick later got married to. Look at she's very beautiful. And again, if you know them real life, the first fiance of Patrick, they are actually husband and wife real life. Look at how handsome Patrick is. Patrick is. Look at how beautiful the wife is. So whoever is telling you that the will of God, you have to manage it, please. That's not what God does. Because of course, like I said earlier on, earlier on. God is the rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. If you, have, if you have been seeking Him diligently, He's not going to give you something to manage. He's not going to give you something to uh, just, uh, it's the will of God. Eh? I, I don't know what to do about it. No, you are going to love the will of God. Even if that person is not handsome, okay, let's say to every other person. To you, the person will be handsome and to be doing you gish gish. To, to you, the person will be beautiful and to be doing you gish gish. But if you are not feeling anything and saying it's because of the will of God, I have to do it that way, my dear. Wrong, no. That's not the will of God. Because God will not give you something to manage after you have diligently sought, sought in. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, let's move to the last one. is purpose. Wow. This part really spoke to me. Like, I mean, it really spoke to me and... You know, you can remember the prof, the prof was telling Patrick and he was like, I have everything now, but I don't have fulfillment. I have the money, I have the cars, I have the houses, but I'm not fulfilled. Because, you know, God called him to be a musician, but he was an educationist. And he was like, he has everything now and he's not fulfilled. And I can remember to when I was watching the movie and, you know, I was just ruminating and I was just thinking about my life. This is my YouTube channel. I wanted to get monetized. I'm even past 1,000 subscribers already, but I'm not monetized because I'm trying to get my watch hours. I want the money. I have so many things to use money for. I want, I really want the money. I want, I'm trying to do everything to get monetized. If you notice, I've, I've, I've changed. I'm trying, I'm changing my line of, of content. You know, no, I'm, I'm posting more of things that can draw traffic like Bishop David Oyedepo's videos, marriage videos, and none of that. If you remember the one I did on Lawrence Sawyer, it was actually the recipe that led me to do that video. If you notice, I talked in that video. It was a video I did one-on-one. -on -one. But others, it's just something I feel to draw traffic. And, you know, the recipe was telling me that my dear purpose, even if the money comes today, if the money comes, if I get monetized today, if I get monetized, I get the money, I get everything I want to I, I want to get. <laughs> I get everything I want to get. But I won't be fulfilled because that's not what God wants me to do. That's not what God wants to do. God wants to achieve a lot of things through this YouTube channel. And, you know, it might be a YouTube channel, but God is really doing, God, is to do, God wants to do many things through this channel. But if I'm not doing it, but I'm trying to upload other content because I want to get monetized. I want to draw tra traffic. If the money later comes, I won't be fulfilled. And, you know, Patrick said something. True joy and peace is in the fulfillment of purpose. So it might not look like it now. It's not easy. Imagine, Patrick was a medical doctor. He had so many things he wanted to do with his career. He was planning on traveling abroad, you know, foreign. And he's a, it's a very, he's a very intelligent person. But then he had to go to one village, El Ewen Lai, what they call the community, because that was what God wanted him to do. He was a medical doctor, but God wanted him to be an evangelist, healing evangelist. So just imagine. So what you're studying or what you studied it might be what God wants to do, but it can also be what that's not what God wants to do. But then you have to actually fulfill purpose. You have to follow purpose because there is this joy in knowing that yes, I'm in the I'm in the path of what God wants me to do. I'm in in the I'm in line. I'm 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 doing what God wants me to do. Like you have the backing of God, and you know they say something. They said the will of God is also the bill of God. If it is will, it will be it. It is His bill. So. God is going to, is going to, I mean, is going to build, I don't know what to say, um, is going to um, take care of the bills of whatever I want you to do. So it's not, it's not easy because at that point it might not be easy, but then there is joy when you are fulfilling purpose. There is this true peace because you know, yes, I'm doing what God wants to do. I'm in the middle of what God wants to do. I'm in the path. I'm in line with what He wants me to do. So there might not be even be money, but just imagine when you are doing it and the money later comes in, the the, the the things you need, the material things you need later comes in. Then it will be double. So before it's too late, like Prof said, it was too late for me, for him. He can't start singing now. <laughs> but, it's, it, you know, he um, said it was too late. So if you know that what you are doing is not what God wants to do, you know what God wants to do. Trust me, it's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy. The will of God might seem slow, but then it will reward you. Yeah, that will be all for today. I, I hope um, you learned a lot from the lessons I also learned from the movie. I will drop you the link of the movie in the description below. If you have not watched it, please, 
<laughs> I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> if I'm not watching the movie, so please watch the movie. And if you have, if you also have other lessons, you know that you also learned from this particular movie that I did not mention here, you can also drop them in the comment section. These are like the main things I learned from the movie and the main things God spoke to me about, and you know it really changed my life. So thank you, guys. I think we'll be doing more of this. I don't know. I don't know as God as this Spirit is leading us, <laughs> but I just feel I think we might be doing more of this. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Drop your comments, the lessons you also learned, and of course, thank me for <laughs> for recommending the movie. Don't forget if you want to be part of my broadcast list on my WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm trying to create a community on WhatsApp. You know, I want to be <laughs> you get it. So just send me a WhatsApp message on my WhatsApp number zero eight one six nine six nine six one six three. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at praise underscore ganiu facebook praise ganiu and of course subscribe to my youtube channel again and again subscribe oh subscribe oh <laughs> all right guys bye see you